architecture's responsibility to design buildings that inspire the users to be socially and ecologically responsible. How do you hope the Library of Birmingham will contribute in this way to the city? I hope that in this building people not only think about reading books but also meet other people. So we really made it that people can meet, interact with each other. You see it already happening on this terrace. You see people sitting next to each other, maybe they don't know each other, but maybe start to talk to each other. We try always also with the circles to make things in a more human scale, almost like your living room. This should be, become the living room with many living rooms of the city of Birmingham. And we also make it very ecological, uh, not the way just it's a Green Excellent building. Uh, the rotondas is part of the mixed mode ventilation system, but also because we are now on one of the gardens. We really try to make it very green because Birmingham is very green but not the city centre. So we created these terraces with the gardens and, and, and we have hundreds of different kinds of plants here. Even if you go to the secret garden, what is on top of the building, it's even people can see here grow fruit. There's apples, there's cranberries, there is herbs, there is rosemary, you can smell it. I also hope that people will see the experience, the changing of the seasons. You will see it from the different shadows you will have in the building, those of the circles, but also in the gardens you will see the changing of the seasons. And volunteers, we need a lot of volunteers will help to maintain the gardens. And when designing such an iconic building, how much faith do you need to put in the project team and the contractor to realise your vision? I think what was very good about this project that we really were a team all together. We helped each other with knowledge, getting the project in time, on budget. But I think what was we always kept the vision together. I think I'm very proud of this building, not only about the whole concept, but also the way we did materialize it. Because I said, you know, I wanted to create a people's palace. But the people's palace, it also means for me that it's made with good materials. I like you see here on the terrace, but also if you, I'm very proud of the uh, elevated floors we made, the, the, the flooring with the ceramic tiles from uh, Italy, what look like marble, but what, what are even stronger than marble. We always try to make a building what, it, what, you, what you can maintain in a very good way. You, you can clean it, because I think it should also not be, it's a, so many public insight it should also be hygienic or well ventilated or healthy, maybe it's a healthy environment. And that the whole materialization and the cooperation with the consultants and the management team and the contractor was very essential. And we all were sitting in one space all together in the, next to the building. So it was really good teamwork.